In this video, I am going to cover how to use the floor function in Google Sheets. So the floor function is a rounding function that allows you to round a number down to the nearest multiple of the integer specified. So this is the basic syntax of the function. There's two arguments. The first is value, which is the number that will be rounded down. And the second argument is the factor, which is the number that the value will be rounded down to the multiple of. Um, this argument is optional, and if you don't specify one, it's going to be set to 1 by default, and it cannot be equal to 0. So it's a really easy function to use. Um, I have the basic formula here, and I'm going to use it just to show you how rounding changes. Um, for each second argument that I put into the function. So floor, then I'm gonna press tab to enter the formula. I'm gonna select the cell that I want to round, and I'm gonna round it to 0.1. And you can see at 0.1, it rounds it down to one decimal place. So 0.25 rounds down to 0.2 because my second argument here is 0.1. So next, I'll do the same one, but instead of 0.1, let's round to 1. So you can see 54.99 rounds down to 54 because I'm rounding down to one digit. When we round to 10, 68 goes down to 60 because we're rounding to two decimal places. or two digits, I should say. Um, and then when I round to 100, 987 rounds down to 900 because we're rounding down to three digits only. So that is how it works for rounding down for each um, factor, the second argument that you put into the function. You can see it just rounds down to um, multiples of that integer. The opposite of this function is the ceiling function. I've covered that before in a previous video, so I'm not going to go over that again. But just to give you a brief explanation, that basically does the opposite of floor. Floor rounds down, ceiling rounds up, otherwise they work the same exact way. So as soon as you learn this one, essentially you know uh, ceiling also. But that's pretty much it for this video. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.